Uh, Another um, joining in on the final season. Uh, Ultimately, what was the final season? Had it not been, I am convinced that you guys, you gals, would have been brought back for another one because the episode was so much fun and so cohesive and just worked. It's an episode called Whispers, written by Joseph Malazzi and Paul Moley. Um, I watched it again last night before joining you for this. And it is one of my favorite uh, hours of Atlantis. Tell us about getting this role and working with this cast. Yeah, for sure. It it was so great. You know, I when I got the audition, uh, I was super excited because, I, you know, I was like, Stargate, that's awesome. It's awesome. It's such a cool show. Of course, I know people on it. I, mm-hmm. you know, I knew David Hewlett, and we worked mm-hmm. together on Cube and stuff before. And not so one I, scene shared with him in this one. <laughs> I know. I know. It was too bad. But I did get to meet uh, Paul McGillian, oh, and yeah. um, he was pretty fun and great, too. So, um, but yes, I would love to work with David Hewlett again. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, I was really excited. And the first time I came in, went to uh, MGM in L.A. to audition, and they asked me to read the role of Teldy um, first. And then I can't remember now, because it is a little bit of a long time yeah. ago, um, if I you know, did the audition and, and went home, and then they asked me back. Or maybe they had us, maybe they had me read both parts. And I remember doing Teldy first. <clears throat> I, I can't quite remember that, mm. David, but I do remember that I read for Teldy first. And then I read for Dr. Porter after. And um, that was a good sign because then I thought, okay, that's good. Because I'm probably going to get Dr. Porter if they're asking me to. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. Let's try this so, one. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and I thought, you know what, I like, I think this part's better for me anyway. When I read it, I was like, yeah, th- this makes more sense. So, um, yeah, got the part and uh, got to go up to Vancouver, and um, which is always a treat. I love, love filming in Vancouver. Um, so, and then they said, you know, we want to have you guys come in early, too, because you're going to need to, um, you know, fire, use these P90s. And I was like, What's a P90? <laughs> Submachine gun. And, and I found <laughs> out. And I was like, whoa, whoa, really? What? Okay. So we all had to come up. Now, um, I was a new mom at the time, a pretty new mom. My daughter, Summer, was like 15 months at the wow. time. So I had to, you know, figure it out and arrange, you know, if I'm going to have a nanny or what. But my parents, who are always excited, you know, to be with their granddaughter <laughs> and to come to Vancouver. You know, in the past, I would have them come and I would be put up at the, you know, the Sutton Hotel. Yes. And I, I would, my parents would fly out and I would take the pullout couch and I would give them my room and uh, <laughs> make it a little trip and I'd go work on settle day. So they were like, yay, can we do that again? I said, sure, you're going to be babysitting. So um, I'm coming in and I've got to do these, you know, P90 uh, rehearsals. I meet I meet the gals. Of course, Christina Cox and I came up together. We knew each other. You know, we were both young actresses in Toronto, so we go way back. Um, but we'd never actually worked together. Uh, so this is our first time working together. And um, the other problem is, is I got a terrible sinus infection. Oh, I got no. there. Like one of those where your head is just right. like, it, you know, yeah. oh, so bad, so bad. And I've since learned to give up dairy. But for okay. many years, I had constantly had the sinus infection. So I get up to Vancouver and I get a sinus infection. And it was super painful. And I had to get the doctor to get me antibiotics and stuff. So we went in to do these, uh, you know, to to learn how to handle these these guns, these mm-hmm. automatic semi-automatic rifles. Or it's, it's a it's a semi-automatic weapon, yeah. Weapon, yes. Yeah. And it was I was into it, super cool. I mean, nervous, but uh, but into it. I just I was in like I was a bit miserable with my face at the time. But oh, absolutely, you know, it's one of the worst things you can have. It, it is, and it was the only thing that made the whole thing a bit of a bummer. But once the antibiotics kicked in, it was great. And uh, met 
Janina, who was really a hoot <laughs> right away, I was like, wow, uh, this this woman, this young woman's a hoot. She's going places too. I could tell right away. And Leela, who was so lovely, yes. right? So we all get in there, but you know, Christina Cox was already like a pro. She had like used guns and so many, you know, and these types of weapons and was such a pro. So Christina's just like, yeah, give me this thing. And she she's just like amazing. We're all looking at her and we're like, oh man, we got it. We got it. Up this our out. game. <laughs> totally. We got to <laughs> up our game with this one. So um, yeah, it was great. And we spent like, I don't know, better part of a, a day you know, learning how to use them. And then I felt pretty good about it. I was like, okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, the firearms training yeah. is already always a tricky balance because yeah. that, that's the thing with, with Stargate. It was very much, um, very much part of that show being, being a paramilitary series. Yeah, and they it took it yes, so seriously. Like if, if you respect yeah. this weapon, you know, and you're safe with it, um, they, they teach you, they teach you what to do. A hundred percent. And of course that's very much, right now what's going on mm -hmm. right? everything exactly the set of rust and stuff and it really did give me pause and make me think about all the times that i've had to handle a weapon in, in my life in correct my life. you use your own personal experience to say okay how could this have happened based on what i know to be standard or what exactly. what i have been trained and to do you know i'm no big weapon but i have you yeah. know from from my first from prom night four i had to have a, a you know a handgun a pistol and fire it and i remember every single time it, checking it, it yes i mean yeah. i didn't even need to check it because the the person you know the armor armor or whoever would cut or a props person or whoever it was it would yell everyone stop and look and here's the gun and here's the barrel and here it's empty and i'm you know and it, i mean very very clearly mm -hmm. and i would be standing there looking at it going okay okay yes 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 okay great yes thank you we all saw that great you know like yeah what happened yeah that's, what that's what it's a, still a developing <laughs> story so we'll see yeah Absolutely. so anyway but very safely, very well handled mm -hmm. on on Stargate, and um, that was really fun. And then we get into, you know, the filming and the fog and the skin. Oh my gosh. And you know, I gotta say, a funny thing about me is I don't really like to watch horror movies or horror, but I like to be in them. It's, really? It's, yeah, I like making them. I'm, but I'm not someone who likes scary movies, really. I get way too scared. I mean, watching Stranger Things with my daughter was like, that was tough. I mean, that was scary. Come on. Like, those things were scary in the beginning. So that kind of reminds me of Whispers Was First, you know, that that, that sort of same kind of thing. You know, when we were watching Stranger Things, I said to my daughter, I was like, ooh, this reminds me of doing Whispers. Like, you know, this fog, and it was so scary, and the, the creatures and um, the creatures were, were great. Those actors did such a wonderful job. They such can barely a, see. A little slits, I'm see. sure. No, they've got this goop. They can barely see. They're in all this fog. Um, their their physical stuff was so good. But then it was so cute because uh, off off stage, off set outside, my my grand my parents and my daughter came to visit. And she wasn't scared of them. <laughs> really? Because, you know, they're talking in a nice voice. Yeah, like, absolutely. Hi, how are you? Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.